Welcome back to another video. Today we are in the Catch Cup Great League, um, where you only can have Pokemon eligible from this season. We're going to be rocking the Double Wool Jellicent in Altaria. The uh, Double we're running the Body Slam and Payback. Still not sure which one we're going to be using, Payback or Wild Charge, but for now, the uh, Body Slam Payback is what we're choosing. Here we have a kind of neutral matchup against this Drapion. Um, throwing body slams on ideal timing. Uh, they actually tank the second one and decide to let it go. They come with a fighter, so we automatically switch out. And they actually bring in the uh, Raz Shadow Razor Leaf Victory Bell. So we're just going to go for this Surf here. I'm trying to get to another one here, but unfortunately we aren't able to get to that next move. And here, um, simply, we just come in with the Altaria and try to farm down. Because we want energy um, to have towards that Polyrath. They go for the Leaf Blade here. It is double resisted, so this is an easy farm down for us. Two shields with the Altaria. This should be GG's. We're going to be able to get to several Sky Attacks. Possibly even a Moon, moon Blast. Okay, so the fact that they shielded, we're going to go for a Moon Blast. This potentially could have been Ice Punch, but they actually have the Power Up Ice Punch version, probably. And because... Um, they, they have potentially Ice Punch. We are going to shield this next one here. And then we're going to go for this Moon Blast. This is just to test how much damage this Moon Blast would do. And that KOs from roughly 70%. So we'll keep that in mind for the um, future games. GG's. And on to the next one here. Um, in, a, in, a, in a way, you can view this team as double or anti-double fighters in the back. As double is only weak to fighting. So you'll have the... Jellicent Ghost and then Altaria flying to protect it. But luckily it, it, it works out to be kind of a pretty decent um, synergized team as the Jellicent usually is our safe switch. Here we want to we wanna see if they're going to be taking any damage. So um, we're going to shield once and we're going to throw this next move and kind of just gauge on what they are trying to do here. So they decided to let it go. We're, we were trying to catch a move right there, but unfortunately for us, it did not go through. We have to let this go. Now we come in with our own Altaria, looking to farm down. Looks like they're staying in for some reason. Their, um, their Altaria giving us energy is really good, but our opponent ends up having the Feral Thorn. This Feral Thorn is interesting. Unfortunately for me, um, we uh, we didn't we didn't throw an optimal timing right there, so. That was not necessarily the best timing. We actually get CMP tied right here, and they reveal that they have Acid Spray. So this is looking like a Acid Spray uh, Power Whip Ferrothorn. Here we have to we have to decide if this is going to be another bait or it actually is the Power Whip. It actually is the Power Whip. And here we're trying our best to farm it down, but unfortunately for us, somehow, some way, the double resisted. Bullet seed farm us down, so that is really bad. And now we're in a really tough situation because not only do we waste our last shield, but um, the fact that we got farmed down by a Ferrothorn is just is just going to be GGs. We just we just can't come back from that energy advantage right there. So a little bit a little bit a couple of misplays right there. We did allow a um, bullet seed to get through when we threw our first ulterior sky attack, which was not good. Um, and then we also um, allow them to bait us. So we'll, we'll, we'll definitely keep that in mind next time on throwing on really good timing. And uh, we move on. Here we have the Shadow Canto Mug. This Shadow Canto Mug is going to have um, Thunder Punch, possibly. Yep, there's the Thunder Punch. We tank it. It does a decent amount, but it, do it won't KO this double. So that's why we didn't shield there. Here we're going to go for this Body Slam. This Body Slam does a huge chunk. Now this is potential KO. Okay, so we get the shield. And then we're trying to catch a move here. Perfect. This is going to be the Thunder Punch. It's only neutral. Okay, and then they reveal that they have the Golbat in the back. This Golbat is going to potentially have the Poison, Fang, and Shadow Ball. So we actually just throw the Sky Attack because we knew that it wasn't a Shadow Ball. Or, um, and then we try to farm down here. They actually throw the poison thing. We have to shield here because we actually want this gold bag out of the way. We don't want to. We don't want to be dealing with this in the back. And then now that they reveal that they have a fighter, we're going to automatically switch on to a Jellicent and 
there's no move that Poly Wrath can have that can hurt Jellicent, so we're just, we're just gonna let this go. Um, we're gonna throw this Shadow Ball on optimal timing. Does it, does, I don't know, 60, 70% right there. And now they're gonna allow us to give a, give, give a little bit extra farm. We throw the Surf, and now all we have to do is just get to a, another another Surf to take out this Poly Wrath. We don't have to shield here, even if this is gold. Okay, so they end up having the power up ice punch version, and so that's just our complete hard wall. So GG's to our opponent right there. This team, I'm, I want to say, is pretty solid, and I think it's generally pretty affordable. Maybe the double is more expensive because you don't see a lot of doubles. Um, but oh, I guess the Altari has a lot of candies, so. I don't know, it, it, I feel like it's, it's a decent investment just for Catch Cup. Alright, here we have the Trevenant. It's switched out into the Haxorus. We come in with the Alteria to try to apply the fast move damage. They actually go for the uh, Breaking Swipe. Here we're going to throw the uh, Sky Attack to this, uh, KO. And then we're going to see what else they have. Okay, they actually have the Tremonent and then they actually form us down so that's a little bit unfortunate for us okay and then they actually have the Scrafty in the bag and this is the classic Tremonent Scrafty core um okay so here we're just gonna have to throw um, a bunch of surfs at this point and okay I guess our opponent is lagging our opponent left. Okay, okay. I guess, I guess they just lagged out. Unfortunate. This it would have been close because we did shield a foul play, and it, it would have it would have came down to a beating game. Whether whether this Scrappy was able to get a couple foul plays off or power up punch, it would have been a complete beating game. So, um, Juju's to our opponent right here. It's just a little bit unfortunate they did lag out, but it would have been um, a close game at the end right there because, it, it, like I said, it would have been all about the baits. Um, okay, on to the next one here. Let's see if we can finish strong here and just show off this pretty solid team. Um, you do have to, you do have to learn about the optimal timing because the, uh, double wall and, and the, uh, Jelson are three turn fast moves. So we have the mirror double wall. This is going to be your classic, um, who can, this, who can figure out who has the, uh, CMP tie. So here we're kind of throwing on weird timing. They decide to shield. So we're going to shield here. And um, let's see what our opponent ends up doing. Oh, our opponent ends up catching our um, second body slam here. Unfortunately for them, we do have the hard counter to this uh, tentacle. We do have the gel scent. Um, so both of these do... Um, really well against the weakness of double which is fighting but our jellison is actually better than their counter to the fighters because it covers only the it covers not only the fighters but also this poison type here so here we're just going to farm it down that's a huge farm down by us here we did a we did a misclick here we should have gone for the shadow ball um definitely should have gone with the shadow ball right there but hopefully it doesn't cost us here we're just gonna let this thunderbolt go it doesn't ko so we're just gonna let it go and we're gonna try and farm up some extra extra energy we're gonna go for this moon blast barely doesn't ko but then our dragon breath does take it out and here we're just gonna quick swap into our double because we already had a move we get the shield and then our opponent ends up throwing their move too so this is ggs because we have a shield and this ulterior will be able to get to the sky attack and there it goes so, Juju Star Opponent right there, let us know about this team. Will you be able to use it? And let us know if you enjoyed the video.